Hey everyone, it's Becky. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know it's no secret that I really love to build tiny houses. I just recently did a studio apartment move-in. I love building other small cottages. My favorite house in House Slipper 1 is the original first office. I think it's just so much fun to sign these small spaces and figure out how to put everything into them. So today I made a micro studio. I don't really know the exact like definition of a micro studio, like how small it really needs to be. Um, let me see how big this is. So from this wall to this wall, it is, let's see, 16 feet. And then from this way to this way, it is 11 feet. And then I also have a small bedroom loft area up there. So it is quite small, you know, I've got this living room area, a little kitchen wall here, and then a bathroom that is only the toilet and tiny shower. But yeah, I really had fun working on this and configuring the layout. It definitely took a while, especially the whole stair situation over there. But I love it and I made it into an unpacking job. I am going to show you how I make it look after everything's unpacked after I show you the tour of this part. And yeah, I hope you enjoy doing the unpacking job yourself on Mod.io. I'll link the Mod.io down below, of course, and you can also get to it on the actual in-game now, which is really fun. Okay, let's get on with the tour first, though. Um, So... I didn't actually do anything with the outside of this, so I just blocked the door and you're just gonna stay in here the whole time. Here is our tiny little kitchen wall. It doesn't even have an actual oven. We just have the little stove top up there and microwave, a tiny fridge, and then a tiny sink and some cabinets. So we're unpacking just a lot of pots, pans, kitchen supplies, little stuff to put on that shelf all that fun stuff. I also have you unpacking like some skincare um, bathroom accessories because I do not have a sink in this bathroom. So your bathroom sink is the kitchen sink. This is what your little bathroom looks like. I got a little toilet with a shelf above it. Um, little window. I already put a little plant up. A little artwork to put up. And then this is the smallest shower in the game. And we've got our little entryway area. Got a little bench there and a little coat rack above it. And then I um, transform these wardrobes into the shelf and put the little cubes above it. I think I made like a perfect little built-in closet look and I really like how that looks. And then I love how this area is nice and tall because it has the um, upper level up there. So it definitely adds a little more life into the space, makes it look a little bigger than it actually is. So yeah, this is going to be the living room area. I've got all the like TV console table stuff and the shelf items here ready to be unboxed. It's more artwork in the TV right there. And then these are the little stairs. I made them myself on um, the in-game stairs. When you try and make them a little more steeper, they have less steps on them. So with how steep I wanted them, it only had like three steps. So I kind of DIY'd these stairs, got the little platform down there, and then I used a couple of these little cube shelves with the baskets in them. And then I just used regular shelves to kind of build it up into stairs. Use some wall molding there for that railing. I would say it's probably not up to code. It's quite steep, especially when you're coming down it. I would not want to come down this in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom, that's for sure. But for the sake of this, I think it looks pretty good. And then this is the little bedroom space. I have all the main furniture up here. I got a fan, a bed, a nightstand dresser, and a desk and chair. So you're gonna unpack all the little items, put in the shelves, even to put in that drawer there and on top of the desk and the nightstand as well as some artwork to put over there and I was able to put a couple of windows up here and of course the big window down there can also let in some extra light up here as well so yeah that's how it looks in the, the unpacking job and now we can go see what it looks like when it is all unpacked here we are it looks so cute and cozy all cluttered up with everything so it's actually nighttime right now just because the game was actually playing through as I was setting it all up in the play mode it'll definitely help make it look nice and cozy in here. I guess we'll start here at the front door. Oh, so first of all, what I didn't tell you is that in the job, I'm gonna have you obviously replace the kitchen backsplash and these floors here. We're gonna pretend it's like a renter-friendly option here, with like peel and stick um, backsplash and floor tiles. So I did the nice blue and white um, checkered and then this nice herringbone. And then that floor extends into the little bathroom just as a way to modernize it a little bit. It was a little bit bland before, so I think that helps make it look a little cuter. And then this is what the kitchen looks like. I added in all the fun clutter items. You're gonna fill in lots of stuff in these shelves. Um, like I said, all the different little 
bathroom products, toothbrush, toothpaste, face wash. Up in here we have some glassware and bowl and plates. Above the sink there have some spices, salt and pepper, a little um, apple timer some coffee mugs. Over by the microwave I got the coffee maker, sugar, coffee. I have these little postcards lined up here just to add some little extra color. And then even in these drawers I have some pots and pans, got some silverware, knives, and other utensils, cleaning supplies down there. And yeah just some fun stuff to be able to unpack. I have a little um, dish rag right there and then a nice plant over on that wall. And then here in the bathroom Looks a little spooky at night. <laughs> but I just have the toilet, a couple of things above the toilet on the shelf there, that cute little art print. And then I just have the different body washes and shampoo and conditioner up in there. Side note, we need bath towels. This is so pathetic. I hate using this tiny little um, towel there for a bath towel. It looks so funny. Hopefully soon though. And then here's what I did with the little entryway shelf right here. Up on top, I have a cute little art print, a little doggy succulent um, planter, a little whale, and then just a jacket and a backpack right there, and then a pair of shoes there on the bench, and then a lamp over to the right. Here are those little built-in um, closets. So up the top, I just have some different accessories, some cute little items, and then... I'm sorry it's so dark. I wish I could change the time. But in here I have some things to hang up. I transformed the little coat hooks onto that rack. So that's how you're able to hang them up there. And then I have some shoes underneath. And then in this one I have some board games, a suitcase, and some workout equipment. And then here is our little living room area. I just have a couch, a small rug, and because we don't have room for a dining room table in this little micro studio, I have this um, little side table being used with, like a TV tray. And you're gonna set up the little sandwich, cookies, and drink. Of course, gotta use these cute little animal planters here along the windowsill. And then here's what the shelf and the um, TV stand look like. I love those art prints. Add a lot of color and all the books and stuff add color too. Got the cute candles there glowing. I think it just looks really pretty right here. And then we go up these stairs again. And here's what the bedroom looks like up here. I filled up these little side shelves with the items. And then this is what the top of the um desk looks like i have like a little tray over there with some little cosmetics and perfumes in the mirror right here for getting ready so you can do your hair and your makeup and stuff if you're looking into that mirror and then just like downstairs with the peel and stick flooring and tiles we also have some peel and stick wallpaper up here to add in and then here is the little bedroom area got the cute art prints set up got everything set up on the nightstands another little fun plant there above it it just looks so super cute and cozy up here and then here Here's what the downstairs looks like from up here. I really love how it all turned out so much. It's like the perfect size little micro studio. I really enjoy it. Here's a little kitchen over here again and then the tiny little bathroom. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my micro studio. Like I said, love working with these small spaces. It's always fun to be creative about it. Again, I'll have the Mad.io link down below for you to complete the job. Let me know if you do it and if you enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.